number one source of news from my childhood, the bulletin board at the train store. News about trains in a store full of trains. Yummy. The train museum is looking for a docent. What's a docent? It's a person in a museum who gives information on the exhibits. Do you think they'd let someone your age do that? Why not? I have a high school diploma. True. I know more about trains than anybody. True. And I have the unique ability to wear people down until I get my way. So true. Why are we talking about baseball and not my impending docenthood? Who wants a Tom it's stupid? Leave it alone. And why do they make you wear that goofy costume? Ha, they don't. This is all me. Sheldon, you sure about this? Yes. Leave the crusts on. I'm a docent now. How's that? Four knocks. Bold. <laughs> hello, hello. Volunteer docent Sheldon Cooper reporting for duty. Welcome aboard. Train nomenclature right out of the gate. Promising. Like your conductor's uniform. You know what they say. Dress for the job you want. Do I get an ask me button too? Well, thank you for asking, and yes, you do. I'll be right back. Do you see that bell? That's from Texas and New Orleans locomotive number 701. I'd tell you more, but you haven't contributed the suggested donation. Number 701 was built in 1930 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It was a superheated 484 class GS1 with seven- I want my money back. This is a very nice builder's plate. How can you be sure it's not a replica? Well, now that is a great question. Thank you. I also know the answer. Do you? Five, four, three, two, one. We were officially open for business. Anticlimactic. Excuse me. Hello, welcome to the Lone Star Train Museum. I'm docent Sheldon Cooper. If you have any questions... You know where the bathroom is? Indeed I do. You'll want to chug along past our authentic 1928 Southern Pacific Sunset Limited whistle, then keep going past our conductor's uniform, which was worn on the Texas Pacific Railway, then you'll come upon Son, our... I have to take a leak. It's in the back. Thank you. Although, the facts in that brochure are suspect. Uh, Sheldon, I, uh... I wrote this brochure. While the origins of the Southern Pacific go back to 1848, the company wasn't formally started until 1865. And before you reprint these, we should talk fonts. Uh, we need to talk. About this bell? You got it. Did you know different engineers would often... Yeah. Son, you're a sweet kid, but I don't think this is working out. I know everything there is to know about trains. Well, you see, now, that there's a problem. People, when they come here, they want to enjoy it. They don't want to get lectured in the bathroom. And you have been correcting me in front of the visitors all morning long. Would you prefer I send you a memo of your mistakes at the end of the day? No. See, trains are all about balance, right? Now, you put too much water into a steam engine, it can't do its job. You let that water run low, boom, it'll blow up. Now, a good engineer Make sure he uses just the right amount of water. Not too little, not too much. That makes sense? The fireman adjusts the water, not the engineer. And then he took my ask me button. He didn't even ask me, he just took it.
Thank you.